Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Someone recently left me a comment that they had problems with bugs in their actual spices. I've never had bugs in the spices and I was very unfamiliar with what that could be. So I did a little research and yes, there are actual bugs and insects that are common in certain types of spices cigarette beetles and drugstore beetles they're very tiny they're actually the size of a sesame seed think about if you took a pencil and you made a dot or a period at the end of a sentence that could be the size of them so it's something that maybe we need to be looking for we may not even know that we have many of our spices come from overseas they don't necessarily have the same climates or the same agricultural standards that we have in the united states could be a problem that the spices you're purchasing are already infested. Which spices do the cigarette beetles and drugstore beetles prefer? Paprika, cayenne pepper, and chili powder. I ran into my cupboard and into my food storage prepper pantry stockpile and quickly inspected all of those to make sure that I didn't have any insects in those. And luckily I did not. Here are a few tips on how you can avoid having insect infestation in your peppery spices. Before you buy them, inspect them very carefully at the store. Turn the package over and look through it and see if you see any kind of little white looking little wormy things. If you see any small brown lumps, those could be insects. Then when you bring your spices home, put them in the freezer for four days and that can kill off anything that is in your spices. If you're buying great big bulk spices, you want to separate them into smaller containers so that you can use them without opening the whole big container all the time. That's gonna help keep them fresher longer. I prefer buying my spices in small sizes simply because I don't like to open up giant containers of spices that then they don't remain fresh as long as ones that have been unopened. The best containers to store your spices would be heavy plastic or glass containers with tight fitting lids. You want to keep the air out of your spices so that they stay fresher longer. If you are concerned, pour out some of your spice before you measure it into your recipe. Then you can make sure you're only adding the ingredients that you were expecting. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.